It is 6.39 on a Friday morning. I don't necessarily think I'd want ice cream this early in the morning because it feels a bit cool outside, but maybe later on in the day when it warms up. Exactly, maybe. it's afternoon. I know one group of people who might disagree with you on the ice cream for breakfast thing. <laughs> That'd be the fifth graders at Bluckley County Elementary. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> so I was down there yesterday. We visited with uh, the students down there at Bluckley County Elementary School. The fifth graders talked about constructive and destructive processes and how weather and more often than not is a destructive process. So thanks to all the students and teachers down there for having me out. Hope you enjoy the weather today because it's a cool start this morning. Let's get to it and talk about what's going on right now. There's a live look at the world's busiest airport, Hartsfield Jackson, just up the road. We are looking at temperatures in the 60s back here in central Georgia, 66 in Macon, 66 in Byron, 66 waking up in Bleckley County this morning, 64 in Dublin, 65 in Sandersville, and 64 in Montezuma. Here's what's going on across the region, mid 60s still, no matter where you look. Generally speaking, we are close to where we were this time yesterday morning. A couple spots, especially to the south and west, a couple of degrees warmer, a couple of spots, especially to the north and east, a couple of degrees cooler. So everybody, generally speaking, about the same. It all feels the same. The radar is quiet this morning across central Georgia and really, for that matter, across, quiet across Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee. You get in toward the Outer Banks area, you run into some rainfall, and that is from potential tropical cyclone 16, which we'll talk more about in just a moment. The rain you see back out in Oklahoma and Arkansas, that is not coming towards central Georgia. So for the day today, a relatively quick warm up into the low 80s by the noon hour, a north northeasterly breeze. That's going to be thanks to that potential tropical cyclone. And then through the afternoon hours, that's going to do it for us. Low 80s across central Georgia today before we all fall back down into the 70s by about 9 p.m. tonight. Waking up tomorrow morning, how does mid 50s sound? That's going to be about 10 degrees cooler than we are this morning here in central Georgia, but it's also going to be warmer tomorrow afternoon. We'll able to find, be able to find our way into the mid to upper 80s, starting off in the 50s, maybe even low 50s in a few spots for Sunday morning before we're back in the mid 80s for Sunday afternoon. So 87 for Saturday, 88 on Sunday. I don't have a rain chance on either day, but tomorrow is the fall equinox at 247 in the morning. That is when fall officially begins and we continue to lose daylight. That also means that Tomorrow is the day where we will see exactly 12 hours of daylight. That means the sunrise time and the sunset time are the same AM PM time. Let's check out PTC 16. This is the HD satellite blend this morning. It's continuing to move towards North Carolina. The reason why it's still a potential tropical cyclone and not a tropical storm or a subtropical storm yet is because the center of circulation is not closed off and it needs to be closed off for it to be considered that. Also notice how dislocated the showers and storms are from the center of it. They're way up here. The center is down here. So we need things to really come into alignment before it becomes an official tropical storm. Regardless of what it is, it's going to bring wind and rain to the Carolinas and to Virginia, officially making landfall sometime, we'll say in the late morning and early afternoon hours tomorrow, the southern end of the Outer Banks move over the coastal areas of Virginia before making a turn towards the northeast before it gets to New York. So all in all, wind and rain, but nothing they're not used to up there. Bus stop forecast for the day ahead. 60s this morning, 80s later on this afternoon. 83 will be that high temperature. We'll call it the humidity lower, especially than what we're seeing this morning with sunny skies prevailing later this afternoon. Sunrise at 723. Here's your seven day forecast. A pretty nice weekend. You get the warm afternoons and the cool mornings. Fall officially begins on Saturday. A 20% chance of rain back in the picture on Tuesday, then up to 30% for Wednesday and Thursday. And here's the thing. We could use the rainfall. We are down over an inch on the month of September and things are a little dry around central Georgia.